Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Most of our country is under quarantine. It is a little tougher to get out and do these weekly incursions, but I did take a trip this weekend over to Newman Lake, so I thought I would share that with you today. And our topic for the day is actually very interesting. Seeing that most of us are, like I said, kind of locked at home with our families. If you are not in one of those service industries that has to go to work every day, you see the same people all the time, day day in and day out. So the question is, what are we doing to grow through this time? Or are we simply sitting back on our laurels and waiting for the wait to be done. Um, and that brings me over to a passage out of Proverbs. I actually don't talk about Proverbs a whole lot. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17 is our launch passage. It says this, iron sharpens iron. So one man sharpens another. You know, you've probably heard this before. As iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. The application is that when believers live in life together and are honest with one another, they can actually grow in their faith. Because the thing that I've learned may not be a thing that you've learned and vice versa. So we can sharpen each other and make ourselves into better believers. Of course, using the Holy Spirit to do that. You know, as we begin to contemplate exactly who Christ is and where we fit in that ecology of being Christ-like, there's a few things. Remember, one, he gave us forgiveness of all sins, past, present, and future. He gave us salvation. He gave us deliverance. He gave us health. He gave us prosperity. He has made us new creatures. Took the entire sin nature that we used to walk around with, threw that away, and gave us a new man. On top of that, he's indwelled us with the Holy Spirit to continue to teach. He gave us authority over the enemy and power to live an abundant life. All of these things he's given us, yet because I'm stuck at home, because I'm a little concerned about exactly where finances may come from for myself and, of course, for all of the people that we love. We're worried about their health. We're worried about their employment. We're worried about relationships. I'm worried about kids not being in school and being at home and not learning the things they need to learn. I worry about all of that stuff. So sometimes I forget that this Christian life is meant to be a joy. And so our closing passage comes out of James. James chapter one. We're only going to do two verses today, verses two and four. James, when talking about tough times, says this, consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. The way James look at it is when your faith is being tested. When you're at your very end, you have to realize that is a chance for the Father to engage with you. This testing is the thing that is going to bring us faith and endurance. So my prayer for you this week is that as iron sharpens iron and as potentially you are going through a tough time right now with this global health scare, that you will allow yourself to be sharpened by the Father and by those you are quarantined with and those you're engaging with on social media. So when you come out of this thing on the other side, your faith will be stronger, your relationships will be stronger, and your reliance on the Father truer than ever before. Well, I pray this has been as encouraging for you as it has been for me. I'll see you right back here again next week. God bless. Be encouraged.